Hi, thanks for tuning into Dear Sub Receipt today. Today's topic is, it's lonelier being in the wrong relationship than actually being alone. Now there's a lot of people out there that are really frustrated about being single. It's really hard these days to meet somebody and you shouldn't beat yourself up because you're single. When the right person is ready to come into your life, they will come into your life as long as you're open and ready to receive them into your life. This is a big thing that a lot of people do is they shut the door. Now, I'm not saying that it's always the right time when you think you're ready, but being open to it and inviting to people coming into your, into your life is a really good thing. But so many people will settle and they'll end up in a relationship that's just not where they want to be. But rather than have to say they're single, they can say they're in a relationship. Now we've all been there, and this happens a lot towards the end of our relationship, when we know that maybe it's, gone, it's done its course. We come home, we're just not looking forward to seeing them, we just don't have anything in common anymore, we have nothing to talk about. So we start finding excuses to maybe stay at the office later, to go out with friends more. We just aren't dealing with the real problem, which is that there is less love in our relationship than there should be. You're going to end up very lonely down the road. Lonelier than if you were by yourself. And the reason I say this is because when you're by yourself, you have the time and choices to do what you want to do. When you're in a relationship, you're answering to somebody else and you don't always want to be answering to that situation. So if you're really beginning to feel like this partnership is a dead end or the, the love is just really basic or it's just more like a, a friendship zone, you owe it to yourself to put your, your energy into something that's more fulfilling for you. And I don't mean hold on to them while you go looking for the other person. That's not what I'm talking about. For you to be strong and to understand when you move on to meeting somebody else down the road that you did this with integrity and, and realism. You didn't just go and, and, you know, find somebody and hang on to them while you did it. You decided that this isn't fair to my partner. I need to move on from them and eventually find somebody I'm better suited with. And you're not going to know that, you're not going to be able to do that, I should say, until you let go of what isn't working for you. If you keep staying in these situations that just are like boring and you're saying to yourself, oh, I'd rather hang out with my friends on the weekend than see my partner, it's really not fair on either of you because you're settling. And we all know what happens when you settle in a relationship. Eventually it dissolves. So don't be lonely in your relationship when you can be happy by yourself outside of a relationship. Or at least have fun along the way when you're single. Go on date and go on holidays, see your friends, do some classes and courses you've always wanted to do. Your whole life doesn't revolve necessarily about being in a partnership. It adds to your life but it isn't your entire life. And I think this is what's going on right now is people are thinking that that's what they have to have in their life because otherwise they're a failure. No, that's not true. You're not a failure if you're doing things in your life that you want to do and you're always learning and you're, being di you're diversifying who you are, being the best you can be and not settling in situations that make you unhappy. Don't be in a rush to be in the wrong relationship. Take time and, and learn as, as, you know, all the things about as you go along and make sure that you wait to be in the right relationship. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cypher Sue. Please keep your questions coming. Leave your comments below. I love hearing from you. Thank you for all the people who have recently subscribed to Dear Cypher Sue here on YouTube. Thanks so much, everyone.